hey what is up guys welcome back to another video and today we're going to be talking about whether or not you should summon for kusak all right so for starters his passive is actually it's actually really really good um i do see him being a good uh guild war unit to have for a demon team or just whenever uh pvp has a 4v4 type of thing decreases crit chance by 20 percent and crit damage by 30% for all enemies on the battlefield. Then increases demon allies attack related stats by 4% for each demon ally in battle. Um, battlefield over here, it doesn't have a period, but it has a comma. So I'm assuming that uh, that for every single demon ally, it's going to be, uh, it decreases the enemy's crit chance and crit damage by their respective percentages. Normal mode would be like, minus 60 percent crit chance and minus 90 percent crit damage he has a pierce card so i'm assuming that you want to use him with demon chandler but uh i don't i think that he might be i think he might just be better in just a normal demon team you know not with the new chandler because the new chandler is kind of uh but yeah his pierce card is a it's a single target um i guess it's good because it's going to do a lot of damage but he has a weak point, a single target, to like match with his weak point, I mean not weak point, with his AoE debuff card, which decreases crit chance by 30%. So basically you're not going to be critting, like your enemy's just not going to be able to crit you, especially if you have uh, the gold one. Debuff card and it's going to be red, so it's probably going to be cleansable, so it's not like it's going to work on goddess team too much. Also, Goddess team mainly uses a uh, Green Sario, which with his counters and him being blue, you know that's gonna, it's gonna he's gonna take a good bit of damage, and that's mainly because is uh he's more of a unit that is made in order for him, in order for demons to kind of like have a chance against Mono Green, you know the Green Merlin and Philo. I feel like that's why they made him, you know, so that they can have at least some protection against, like, Philo's AoE nuke. But not so much for Sario's attack, you know. Because Sario's um, just full-on attack, you know. His counter's just going to be full-on attack, so it's not like he's going to take damage loss from this. I've never even seen uh, Sario crit me whenever I, whenever he counters. Like, it, I don't, yeah, I don't think it's happened. So I feel like uh, Green Counter Sario might be able to still clap him. Overall, he looks pretty cool. Uh, he's probably, in my opinion, he's way better than uh, Chandler. Now let's go on to the banner. We're going to quickly just go over if they're good or bad. Bad. Horrible. Uh, they say that her Holy Relic is really good, but I have yet to see her in PvP. So I'm just going to say she's mid, I guess. Sario, he's good. Uh, you currently need him. He's pretty essential if you want to score high on the new uh, Tarmiel final boss that's out right now. And he's just, you know, overall really good. His grace can be used for debuff teams. Um, he, I mean, like I said, he can just like, you know, probably shit on uh, Kuzak. Maybe, you know, because I haven't used Kuzak and I haven't, and I don't really use Sario like that. I don't run Goddess. I've seen this at late used in a uh, guild boss in some stages. She can be pretty niche depending on like, if you have like, I think this, I think it's a uh, Fat King, like 6-6 six, six or something. You guys probably don't know what I'm talking about, but uh, she, she was used in a team to like score like high points. But overall, bad. Ragnarok Bon, he's a he's pretty he's a pretty good uh, sub slot unit right now for OG Demon. I don't know if it's better to have a Ragnarok Bon or the Red Elaine. If anyone knows, you know which one's more beneficial. I'll let you guys know real quick. I use Summer Diane, Trader Melly, uh, Red Gother, and Red Elaine currently. Let me know if Brawler Bon is good. If you want to summon on his banner specifically for Jormagander, I don't recommend it because she literally, she's literally been appearing in like any, every single banner so far, you know? And this gay specifically, bad. 
Tarmio has been appearing a lot, but I highly doubt you guys be pulling him off the banners that he is featured in. Or like you haven't pulled him enough to like have him at a high ultimate level. So I'll say he's a he's a good. He's good. Clearly. <laughs> Mono is personally a unit that's just I wanna raid bad, but I just I really wanna get her. Like whenever I saw her on this banner, uh I was actually debating doing a multi. I talked myself out of it, you know. But I was debating doing a multi and like just testing my luck and hoping that I either get mono or Freyr. Freyr is really good because he's on the top demon team for... I mean, not top demon. He's on the top demonic beast battle for dogs, you know? Top team. These will be the final valuations. Um, If I even use that word right. Overall, I think that Kuzak is really good. If you're one of the dudes who are like summon for Chandler thinking that he was going to be, you know, a good support... Then I'm pretty sure I don't I don't see why you wouldn't want to summon for Kuzak. Uh I personally think Kuzak uh just on the just from like what his kit his kit looks like, you know. At the end of the day, I've never used the dude. Cause you know, there's some things that like sound good on paper, but then you put into practice, like in an actual game, and then you're like, bro, this dude's dog shit. You know, so maybe uh Kuzak isn't all that. If you guys do Guild War, you might want to pick him up. If I if it wasn't for the fact that my Esserosa's one six no cosmetics, and basically my other units are low cosmetics, if it wasn't for that, I think I would just I would have summoned for Kuzak here. So I was thinking, with the crit damage uh reduced, I was thinking that maybe I will like if I if I had the chance and the opportunity to use this team at its full potential. I would have loved to be able to um, use Kuzak, LV Melly, and maybe uh, Chandler, the old Chandler, blue Chandler. Because with that da- with the crit damage, you know, it gives LV Melly a good a good chance at survivability, you know. So when paired up with this, I think that will make a really good team. And you know, LV Melly is also considered demon, so it's gonna help out with his passive. I would have loved to like run that team. Also, Chandler is for uh, taunting and giving uh, LV Melly a more survivability. Maybe put a Tarmiel Link on. I don't know. Uh, I think Tarmiel Link would be better on Chandler. Maybe just give LV Melly and whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking so hard on this. Like I'm gonna use the team. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if anyone actually, you know, finds this useful, then there you go. I um, hope you guys have a really nice day. A lot has been going on right now, and it's been making it so that I can't really upload the amount I want to. But yeah, uh, see ya.